hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames in this video we're gonna talk about yay mr yeezy himself saving lives and businesses right every single day now as per kanye's post on instagram adidas is letting the world know that because of yay's yeezy they were able to mitigate operating loss for 2023 from 700 million pounds to 450 million pounds. So initially, what Adidas CEO Bjorn Golden or Golden was saying was that Adidas was predicted to lose over seven million, seven hundred million dollars in operating loss for 2023 but because of the Yeezy inventory they were able to reduce that operating loss down to 450 million dollars not only that adidas they have say they're saying that their decision you know to start selling Yeezy again has definitely paid off and there is an increasing demand for the giant brand. Be no fool. Yeezy is a giant because the demand has significantly increased. And you can tell that Adidas knew what they were doing. And they were just waiting for all of this to die down. Now, I also believe that as a part of the mediation process, they're trying to hold on to the current designs because in the last report, Adidas was claiming that the current Yeezy designs belongs to them, which means that either A, Ye wants to be paid more for his designs, or B, Adidas up and leaves his designs alone and he takes his business elsewhere because the reality is Ye doesn't need Adidas adidas needs yay so as such adidas is fighting and they're trying to mediate in court with yeezy let's talk some more about this report because guess what this is proving that yeezy by itself is worth a few billion dollars i believe it is hard to determine exactly how much but based on some figures that Adidas has released, you can have a sense that it is somewhere between the three to seven billion dollar region, right? And here's why I say that. Just listen to this report. Now, the report says the German sportswear giant reported on Thursday that the first release of more than $1 billion worth of Yeezy branded shoe stock that Adidas had in the pipeline when it terminated um, its partnership with Ye, the rapper formal, formerly known as Kanye West last October generated revenues of around 400 million euros or around 437 million US dollars. Now, let's pause here for a bit, right? Let's think about it. The value of a brand is not only determined by the stocks that they have on hand. It is also determined by how much that brand is able to generate just by their name. And if Adidas is able to liquidate right well not liquidate but if they're able to you know sell more than a billion dollar worth of yeezy shoe in less than one year what is that telling you about the brand it's telling you that the brand actually is worth a few billion dollars so if you're thinking from a logical perspective because again as i've said to you the brand worth is not only determined by the inventory it's determined by the inventory and the ability for the brand to make money 
how much will investors be willing to invest in this brand? So when you look at what Adidas is saying, if Adidas had more than a billion dollar worth of Yeezy branded shoe, it means that Yeezy is worth anywhere from one to seven billion dollars in terms of profits, profitability, and how it's able to generate money. And that is on its own. That is without, you know, investors pumping in. That's Yeezy itself in terms of what Adidas had on hand. So as such, this should give us the sense that Yeezy is worth quite a few billion dollars. It should also tell us that even though Forbes is saying Ye is currently worth half a billion dollars, the figures are still not adding up because the reality is within the past three months, Ye has collected over $400 million. Last year, October, when Adidas cut ties with Ye, um, Forbes had valued Ye to be worth over $400 million. And after that, Ye has gotten over $400 million. And he still had money coming in from different, um, you know, areas of income that he has. So how is it that last year, October, he's worth over $400 million. He has recently gotten over $400 million within the past, let's say three to four months, right? But still yet, they want to value him at $400 million. It's really not adding up. We may not have all the, you know, figures out and we cannot determine how much this guy, and when I say this guy, yay, has coming in. But let's think about it from a logical perspective. If from this $1 billion worth of Yeezy, Adidas had donated $120 million, how much of that billion dollars went to Ye? Right? Ye would have to get at least um, 20%. So... If you should do your own calculations, you would see that no one really knows at this point how much Ye is truly worth. And if you're looking at Ye's net worth after, you know, Adidas has cut ties with him again, based on what Forbes has said, versus what was reported that he had gained within the past three to four months, you would know that Ye is worth at least a minimum of $1 billion. But as time passes, I believe that we will be able to tell more because I want you to save these figures because Adidas keeps playing around with them. Adidas doesn't want anyone else to cut in on the Yeezy market. They are afraid of another giant stepping in. And that's what they're even pushing for, pushing against at this point, that Yeezy cannot partner with any other um, competitive brand because Adidas is scared as hell that another brand may offer Ye a more lucrative deal. And guess what? There are plenty more designs where those designs that Adidas has is coming from. So Adidas wants to keep Ye in mediation for as long as they can, and they want to keep fighting for those designs as long as they can, because if another giant should offer Ye a $2 billion deal, because if Ye can give Adidas a billion dollars in a few months, just imagine if another brand steps in to say, Ye, we're giving you $2 billion up front, right? then that's a done deal because that company can look at Adidas and say, Adidas is getting over a billion dollars in less than a month, sorry, in less than a year. So if we give this guy $2 billion up front and we go into a five-year contract with this guy, that company is looking to profit over 
over five billion dollars during that five year period, right? And that is just a projected amount by us based on what Adidas has shared. And that one billion dollars that Adidas has shared, it is during their bad time. During Adidas good times, they make over two to three billion dollars annually. And any company who is aware of that knows that offering someone $2 billion up front for a collaboration for a five-year steady agreement, it means that the company is going to gain $10 billion, you know, or more in five years, which means that Adidas will lose out, that new giant will win, and Ye would regain his billionaire status and not worth just $1 billion, but we would know at that point he is worth at least $2 billion plus royalties that he has coming in. So I believe this is what Adidas is fearful of, and as such, they're trying to pull this thing out for as long as they can and fighting like hell to hold on to those Yeezy designs. But guys, I want to hear from you though, because your input is very important. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up and see you all later. Bye guys.